What's happening, y'all? Cowboy here. Welcome on back. As you can see, we're over here at Farron Keep. Um, right before Farron Keep, actually. And for a reason. So we are going to go by the cathedral. Um, I basically pulled up the wiki of the site, and there is both a Estes shard as well as a bone shard over there, which is worth going. Um, but while I was looking at that, I learned that that thing over there on that ledge is also one of my Estes shards. And to be honest, I don't remember... How the hell to get over there? I just don't. I think it's... I don't know. I was trying to remember. It's just been that long. I know you come in from above. But, like, you can see, you know, you gotta... I have to get up there. And if we're following this around... I was trying to do some, like, you know... Uh, I don't know what the right term is here. I'll take that holy gem, though. Uh, so, you know, it goes up here, follow this path around, see it's up there, it's past those rocks. So I was like, alright, yeah, that's right, I just gotta go this way, probably to get it. But I wanna say, part of me is, is thinking maybe you connect there from the Cathedral of the Deep? Because to be honest, I don't remember how the hell I'm supposed to get over there. These annoying ass things, but like, we go this way. And, you know, this doesn't lead me there, this, uh... This is just the boss arena. There's nothing here to connect through. This doesn't connect through, so it's like still over, you know, over that way, over on the side. And I go past this, out of my way. So it, it's gotta be, like, I mean, I know it's been, it's been a while. I know it's been a long time, but the only thing I can think is that it's a connected path from the cathedral. And I don't remember. And that's uh, saying something, considering I have, like, basically the guide for this game. But, like, in terms of traveling, like, it feels like we're going too far, you know? We're just, we're going way out here. And then, and my brain is like, no, that doesn't make sense. This, that's too far. It wouldn't connect. Especially because the part where I was thinking it connects back here in the cathedral. No. I don't know. And I know we did the drop down over in Farron. The drop down over in Farron is the one that led us to uh, the little area where when we dropped down a second time, we were right there surrounded by uh, by the, the basilisks. Sit down, dog. So, I don't remember. Maybe there's a drop down over here between the shortcuts, but I don't recall that. So, either way, um, we need to to remember how the hell to get over to there. But for now, at least, let's let's go through here. Let's get the uh, Titanite Lizard, and then uh, while we're here, we can get the the shard and the. Uh, the shard and the uh, Estes shard. The Estes shard and the bone shard. Words are hard right now. That's how I know it's time to stop recording and go get lunch. Okay, stop this. Wonder if the worm buildup is as bad as it's always been. Looks like it probably is, but maybe we'll be lucky and it'll just fall off. Pretty sure I don't. I know. Well, I don't even bother checking. I know I don't have a torch. Dragon Rider bow. That's nice. Okay, buddy. Just gonna wait for this to proc. I'll heal it, and then I'll jump down and fight him. Thank you for the scales. That might be enough to take my demon great machete up two tiers now. 
Um, and then there's a... Is it here? Yes. Him. Ember back here now. I know typically I'm very, very aggressive against people who like to backseat, but... This is the one instance where if someone remembers how the hell I'm supposed to get to that ledge, you may tell me what the connecting zone is, because my ass sure as hell does not remember. At first I was like, oh, maybe there's a sh Like, I know- well, no, I know that's not it. I know there's no shortcut through the, uh, through Faring, or, uh, Road of Sacrifices, because... It's just no ledge that that came to mind that whole time. And I know Farin or uh, the swamp. I know the swamp's not it because the swamp doesn't connect over there. This area seems too long. I just don't remember how the hell to get over there. I even like went back, looked at my uh, looked at the the walkthrough I did for Dark Souls Three, and um, couldn't find it. Actually, you know what? I might, I might take a second look now that I'm thinking about it. I was speeding through it, but I may have stopped in the walkthrough and denoted how to get to that when we passed by it. So I'll, I'll, take, I'll take a second look at my own walkthrough, as terrible as that sounds. But that's how it happens, you know? You, you start, you make all these guides and <clears throat> trying to remember everything. Like, your brain only has room for so much knowledge, you know? It's like... Guides for Dark Souls, and then Dark Souls 2, and Dark Souls 3, and Code Vein, and Surge, and this and that. And it's like, eventually my brain is just like, alright, pick a game to keep because something's getting pushed the hell out. And I'm like, oh, well, alright, I guess we can keep memory of this one. And it's like, alright. Uh, let's level... Yes? I think I'm gonna take Endur- I mean, 40's the, the hard cap for Endurance, but I think I'll get that to 30, and then I'll focus on Vigor some. So let's re-bless the giant sword of justice. Between the chopping and the holy, my sword will probably keep me healed up. Is this the drop? Nope, you do not do this shit. The god of poise. A lesser build would have fallen victim there, but not I. Oh, come on, you little shit. Between the never-ending undead 
and uh, the fact that I'm just like cleaving my way through them, this is uh, very berserk. Basically, I am guts, cleaving my way through all the enemies. To be fair, I do fully expect to just slaughter this place, considering we already took out the Abyss Watchers. So that's the standard position. Repair powder. So yeah, it doesn't look like much has changed here so far. A lot of this is um, pretty standard loot for this area. Big shield. Finally, this damn worms last ages. And yes, I know I can bring a torch to get rid of them, but who has time to go back and get a torch? Just barely not killing these guys. Stop a paladin!
mixing iron. That's neat. I wonder if they summon up like little mini affinities. I don't think I've ever just cruised through this with so, like, just such little effort. I'm just like, yep, yeah, this is a big ass sword, and it's holy, and I'm healing, and you can't beat me. What do you think Estus is needed? I'll put this on my back. Increase the soul gain. The craziest thing is this is pre poisoning. Actually, I might do... I know you can infuse shields with a soul thing. I don't know if it's 25% on all the shields, but I might do that over uh, equipment load. smaller than I remember, but... Her camera is like the paladin weapon. Become poise god. Mm. Mm. I mean, I know I've been, I've been a great sword boy up until now, but... 213? Depending on what it's what I require to level it up, I may focus on using the Kirk hammer. I mean, it's just it, I don't know. There's something about Kirk hammer, you know. It's just like raw, and visceral, and brutal, and it's like for a paladin, hammer is just kind of they they meet the mark, you know.
Let's actually take a peek. I have plenty of souls. And I can get rid of some of the other stuff. Uh, don't need you. Dark Sword DE. Nope, not using you. Uh, no. Absorb FP on hit. No. I like both of you, but I don't know for sure. You get to stay. I like you a lot. Nope. Nope. No. No, no. All right. Infuse. <sighs> Wishing I had another blunt gem still. Blunt gem would pull it up to B. Well, in the meantime, I could lethal it. Lethal and reinforce twinkling. Uh, I am. It's Kirk Hammer. Damn, it's low though. It's real low. Three oh four compared to three twenty. Oh no, that might not that low. Shit. I need, it has to be, uh, it has to be blunt, though. Because even though it weighs the same, without the, the blunt modifier, I get way too heavy with it. Damn it. Alright, well, we're gonna, we're gonna keep that around. That's getting pulled out soon. Um, but I'm gonna make it blunt. Wish I, it sucks that I use the blunt on the machete. I keep, like, finding potential strength weapons, and I'm like a kid, I'm like, ooh, piece of candy. And then I use up my blunt on it, and then it's like, no, actually, this isn't this isn't gonna work out for you because you don't have the shit you need to upgrade it. Which actually, I might now that I think about it, I might be able to switch to the demon machete after killing those scale demons. Let me see, because I'd want something. I'd want to take it up to like at least two or three. So let me take a peek. So it's two and then three. So just out of curiosity, I want to see. Uh, so at plus two. Oh, it's showing the. Oh no, it's showing positive values though, even though I think it's because I'm already two handing a weapon. Um, you're 158 and 206, so 364 at plus two. 373. So it is a solid upgrade um, over the Pursuers, even though the Pursuers has better scaling. So we'll deposit you. We'll keep you around as my fast boy. You need to be upgraded, but we're keeping you around. Oh, you weigh less. But I need to two-hand this constantly. Would I ever one-hand it? Probably not. Basically play two-handed. Alright, we'll rock this for a bit. Um, actually, you know what? There's there's a lot of this place left. Let's let's wrap up here. Um, but I'll use this until I find another blunt gem. At which point I'll upgrade the Kirk Hammer. And I may stick with the Kirk Hammer. I mean, especially now that we're using Blessed Weapon, I feel like we're, we're more and more kind of turning into a Paladin as opposed to a Strength build. And... If we're going to do this paladin thing, what better weapon than the Kirkhammer, you know? So, anyway, closing on out. If any of y'all remember how to get to that damn ledge, let me know. Otherwise, catch you guys next time. More cinders.